Hi everyone, I'm Dawn Kramer. Um, my first field placement was actually at a uh, day center for Families Without Homes. And I actually just got hired there last Wednesday uh, for the position of case manager. So now I'll be in charge of all the families in our program, um, finding them housing, help them set up budgets and help them with whatever other resources are needed. I'm pretty excited about it, but I'm also nervous um, balancing uh, almost a full-time job with school. It's been many, many years since um, I've been to school and worked full-time. Um, I grew up in a pretty traditional family, a nuclear family. Uh, it's my mom and dad and my brother and I when we were growing up. And we moved around quite a lot uh, due to my dad needing um, different types of jobs. And so that was a struggle. My brother and I, um, by the time we would make friends, would be leaving again. So my brother and I kind of were each other's best friends. Uh, one of the things that I found interesting, though, about moving around was I um, was introduced to different cultures. I was around nine years old when we lived with the um, Navajo um, Native Americans. And it was um, a big adjustment. There was a lot of cultural um, differences. So it was, it was um, interesting for me to learn about their culture and try to understand um, where the Navajo people were coming from and how they adapted to life. Um, the role I play currently in my family is I am a single mom. However, I'm remarried and I have a stepdaughter and I have two daughters. And um, it was very difficult for me to um, become a single parent and it was quite an adjustment. Um, one thing that I feel though that has helped me in this process is when other families come to me with um, questions or concerns about being single parents that I can relate and empathize with them and help them work on goals and um, talk through their issues with them. Um, I guess one of the only questions I, I really have is um, I know a lot of families um, and people around me that have dealt with um, teenage pregnancies and they decided to um, keep the baby and a lot of times the teenage parents don't assume the responsibility of the child and the grandparents are you know the main ones raising them and I'm just wondering if this topic would even be brought up in this class and like how people have um, coped with this and what they have done to have the teenagers become more responsible for their children um, I look forward to getting to know each and every one of you, and I hope we have a very success successful journey in this class, and thank you for listening.